Thank you, Father. Huh? Thank you, Father, when, 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 when relationships go bad, huh? And when, when people leave us, Father, huh? And people tell us how much they, they, they hate us. But, but, but we know, huh? It, it's one thing that we can do, huh? We, we know that you and your son, Jesus, huh? All we got to do is uh, just call that name, huh? Uh, they say something, it, it's something about that name, huh? It, 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 it's, it's, it's like no other name, huh? Uh, when we call out that name, Jesus, huh? Uh, when we say Jesus, huh? Huh. He's on his way. Huh? When we say Jesus, it's a yes. Huh? Yeah. What you need, huh? I, I, I'm right here. Huh? I, I, I say I'll never leave you. I'll forsake you. Huh? Uh, whatever you need, I'm, I'm right here. Huh? I, I'm closer than a brother. Huh? I'm better than a mother. Huh? I, I'll teach you huh? that the, what your brother didn't taught you. Huh? I, I'll teach you how to love. Huh? I'll teach you how to walk. Huh? I'll teach you how to walk huh? straight. Huh? I'm not turning to the left or turning to the right, but going straight. Great way, huh? Yeah, yeah, Thank you, Father. Yeah, yeah. You know, somebody was telling me that I was talking to someone this morning, and they were saying, you know, why you like this son over that son? I love all my sons. I love all my sons very much. But, huh? But the one who who's following Jesus, huh? The, the, the one who who's following the way I'm following, huh? I, I can't help but love them a little more, huh? Because I love my father, huh? More than all the one that's up in heaven, huh? the, the, the one who gives me strength, huh? The walk every day. But but if, if my son's on earth is following him and, and doing his will, huh? I, I I just got to feel a little better, huh? I, I got to feel a little happier, huh? I, I, I know some of them say that they're they gonna walk that way, huh? I, I know some of them say, hey, I'm saved now, huh? Daddy, I'm saved, huh? I'm saved, but. You know, you only say it uh, in a convenient manner. Huh? Uh, uh, you, you're not following the God. Huh? Uh, you, you, you're not giving your all to Him. Huh? Thank you, Father. Huh? Thank you, Father. Huh? I, I, I know that the ones that are saved, when, when, when they need some help, huh? when, 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 when things go bad, huh? when, when you can't talk to nobody about what's going on, huh? but when things get so personal, huh? uh, you don't want to tell another man, huh? but, but you can call on that name. Huh? You, you can call that name Jesus, and he's he going to be right there. He's going to be right there. You ain't got to worry about nothing. You're going to feel better already, huh? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for giving us strength. Thank you, Father, for just giving us life, huh? And giving us more abundantly, huh? Thank you, Father, for sending your son down on this earth, huh? And that he might get hung on a tree, huh? Like a common Trump criminal just for us, huh? Thank you, Father, huh? Uh, how you turn your head on him, huh? Uh, that, that he might be made sin for us, huh? I, I know we don't deserve it, Father, huh? But we thank you, Father, huh? We praise you, huh? Because it's you, huh? It's nobody like you, huh? You say, come to me while I'm near, huh? Because, huh? It might be too late later on, huh? Thank you, Father, huh? Thank you, Father, huh? Thank you, Father, for your love, huh? Thank you, Father, huh? We praise you, Father. We worship you, Father. We give you all the glory. As we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Kayla, come up and read something for me. Come on. Real quick, real quick. Just a few verses. Okay. I won't mess with you no more today. All right. But you didn't listen to me when I told you not to go outside, so I'm making you read. <laughs> Genesis 1, 1, and first and the second verse. Just, you got it? Can you hear? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face 
of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water. All right. Thank Amen. you. Amen. 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 I'm going to start at Genesis 1, verse 26. Uh, then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God he created him, male and female he created them. Then God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. I want to talk to you today about the original intent of God that his sons rule this earth. God's intent was for man and when I say man I'm not talking I don't want y'all I want y'all think in spiritual terms I'm not talking about masculinity here or femininity here. I'm talking about God's creation, the human creation. And so when I talk of when I say men, I'm saying men and women. So when God created the earth, God created man to rule, reign, control, administer, manage the earth. So God created a perfect place and he put perfect people here to run this perfect place. Well, we know part of the story is starting in Genesis 3.1. Uh, there was a serpent named Satan. Genesis 3.1, I'll read a little bit of it, maybe down to verse 7. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, as God indeed said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said to the serpent, we may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die, for God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, so she believed the devil, not God, she took of its fruit and ate. She also gave to her husband with her, and he also ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves covering. So God created perfect people, and he put them in a perfect place. And this was supposed to be a wonderful, great story where man rules in God's stead, God's creation. That's what God did. And the devil came, and he got God's creation to reject God by rejecting God's command to them. They rejected God. And so at that point, now you have people who do not have the ability to rule like God Amen. because they are spiritually dead. And because they are spiritually dead, they cannot rule like God because God is a what? A spirit. Yeah. <clears throat> so they can't rule like God and they can't worship God. Why? Because those who worship God must worship him in what? Hallelujah. So now 
you have a fallen man who has all of these thoughts and they start off the devil saying you're going to be able to decide good and evil but the Bible says that their thoughts were what? Continually what? So God created a perfect place created perfect people, put them in there they rejected God listened to a demon and then they became like the demon see I want you to understand that what they did was they became more like the demon than they were like their creator. Wow. Yes, yes. So, that's not the end of the story. We have the Old Testament where God would find people like Abraham, people like Noah. He, you know, he found people like Jacob. He found people like Moses and Joshua. And God was with them, and they ruled, and they reigned, and they had the Spirit of God on them, and they were able to administer the earth, and manage the earth, and manage the, the kingdom that they were a part of in a manner which God wanted them to. In fact, one of God's favorite students was David. And even though we saw that David had plenty of problems, God still loved him. God stayed with him. God didn't leave him. God didn't abandon him because God understood something. God understood that every descendant of Adam was, was going to have, what, problems because Adam was created in the image of God, but man was born in the image of what? Adam. Not just the Adam that God created, but the fallen Adam. So God had a plan. And God's plan didn't start when the devil did what he did. God's plan started before the foundation of the world. Amen. So God knew that he was going to create perfect people. He knew that he was going to create a perfect place. He knew that the devil was going to come in.